What is up everyone? I am Bishop Baller and you are watching the announcement video as to how I'm actually continuing now that Sun and Moon have been released. The Road to 721 series will stop, or kind of, because there's a new series coming named Road to 802 in which it'll do the exact same thing, except with 802 Pokemon instead of 721 because Sun and Moon is out, so it'll still be the exact same series. Sun and Moon does bring some interesting changes though and I want to talk about a few specific things. First off is Z-Moves. I do not count a Pokemon using a Z-Crystal, not even if it's a signature Z-Crystal, as a different Pokemon. Because, simply put, Pulverizing Pancake on Snorlax is not gonna be good. Because Giga Impact is a terrible move to have. There are gonna be some that are very good, like Extreme Evo Boost and Eevee, but Eevee ZMZ is just gonna be banned anyway, so whatever, it doesn't even matter. Like... I don't not gonna count those different Pokemon. They still count as the same. For some Pokemon, it's gonna be incredibly useful. Manaphy look, is looking to be very good with Rotter EMZ and then Rain Dance. But apart from that, not gonna be much. I'm not gonna be using Z moves a lot. Only if it's of course I'm gonna be using Z moves. It's the best set for the Pokemon, not just to use the Z move. Something else that I feel need to talk about are Megas because yes, Megas are returning in Sun and Moon, but quite a few are unavailable. The list of available Megas I, I have right here, and I'm going to be reading them now. If you don't want to hear these spoilers, then skip ahead a little bit. The list is uh, Gengar, Scizor, Pinsir, Aerodactyl, Lucario, Kangaskhan, Gyarados, Absol, Alexam, Garchomp, Sableye, Metagross, Sharpedo, Slowbro, Glalie, and Salamence. Those are the only available Megas. That's quite a big list. Or quite a small list, I mean. Quite a big list of... Uh, unavailable megas and that means that I'm not gonna be able to do every mega a few megas that I've already done are even unavailable during Sun and Moon like Venusaur and, and Charizard Y and Titar and Abomashido are all megas that I've already done unavailable I'm pretty sure yes which is awkward right uh, those videos of course still count I'm not redoing those megas even when they are released they'll most likely be released in the new in the next games for uh, in gen 7 maybe Diamond and Pearl remakes maybe Pokemon Stars Maybe, whatever, like, maybe they'll be released through events. They will come back eventually, but they're not available in Sun and Moon meta. Which means those will not be, those will not be counting. Another thing that I want to talk about is form changes. Because, how exactly, when do exactly do I count a form as a different Pokemon? Well, first off, of course, I count Megas as different Pokemon. You could very well say, yeah, well, they're not, they're just an item. I don't think so. I think they're a different Pokemon. As such, I have been using them, of course. That's criteria number one. If they're a Mega, or rule number one, I guess. If they're Mega, they count. Second, they need to change form outside of battle. I know that doesn't go for Megas, but I can't, the rules are in order of importance. Rule number one is if they're Mega, they're used. And then rule number two is if they're not a Mega, and they change inside of battle, they don't count as different Pokemon. Reason for that, if I'm, I am not gonna go make two sets for Meloetta and then say, yeah, one one for Miss Pirouette. I'm not gonna bother. Because essentially, you're still coming in as Meloetta and then you have to spend a turn to do that. That's not happening. Similarly, Greninja is gonna be only one and I'm not gonna use Ash Greninja. Unless it appears that Ash Greninja is indeed the better Greninja, then I will, of course, be using the Ash Greninja set. And lastly, uh, a form change has to be big enough. That sounds really arbitrary, but what I mean by that, I'm not gonna make f six fur throw sets. That, that's bullshit. I'm also not gonna make fucking six Pikachu sets, or seven Pikachu sets. The Pikachu cosplay will not be used. They're illegal, I don't know why they're illegal, probably can't be transferred to Sun and Moon or whatever. But they will not be used. I'm sorry, uh, I don't think they're worth it, I, the only difference is one move. I don't think it's worth it. Besides, regular Pikachu gets Volt Tackle. That's the better set anyway. Like, for sure. So that those won't be used. Uh, I think... Uh, and then, yes. But other things. If the Pokemon's type is changed, I know it sounds really arbitrary. I know. Arceus. I will be making 18 Arceus videos. Reason being that I think a different typing... You, if you look on Smogon, I have read up on this a lot. Smogon has 18 different pages for 18 different Arceus forms. And the reason being is that every Arceus form has a slightly different role. Or a slightly different, a pretty different role. 
Arceus Water and Dragon, for example, are great support Arceus forms. Arceus Normal and Ghost, however, are very offensive. That, ty that one minor typing change, or seemingly minor typing change, is huge for what the Arceus form actually does. So for that reason, I will be using them. Similarly, I will most likely also be going with all Silvalli forms. So yeah, there are all, will also be 18 Silvalli videos. But when is this all happening? Because I've said before that I'm taking a little bit of a break. I am. I want to... First off, I want to be able to finish Sun and Moon for myself. Sun and Moon is not out here yet. I'm going to be, fin I'm going to be playing Pokemon Moon. Uh, in when in coming Wednesday, I will start playing it, and once I finish, I will start breeding on there and get all my Pokemon ready. Because yes, I do breed every Pokemon that I use in Road to 721 or Road to 802. Um, that is very that's uh, something that I I personally really enjoy doing. Uh, yeah. What what else is there to say? Uh, I oh yeah, right. I do want to also wait for the meta to settle a little bit. What I mean by that, right now, every Sun and Moon Pokemon that is fully evolved, including things like Pukamuku, who has no offensive moves, are in OU. I'm not dealing with that. I'm sorry. I'm not going with shit like Feromosa in OU. That's not happening. This thing is getting banned very soon. Also, Aegislash was dropped recently. This thing is getting banned. For sure. In just uh, probably one or two weeks. I'm waiting for that. I want to wait a little bit. The meta needs to settle slightly. The first drops need to come through. The first races need to come through. It's just... Needs to people need to figure out how to play this a little bit, and then I'll start playing again because I don't like playing in a newly born meta and stuff. I I am excited to see the meta develop over the course of playing in it, because I have never been part of a um, meta switch. I have did playing black and white, but I stopped uh, m midway through, and then I came back during Auras, so I missed that meta change. I don't exactly know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to be waiting a little bit at least. Uh, that is probably it for the Road to 802, but there's another announcement I have to make. I am the host of the International Showdown competition, which is a draft league format that will, a draft league that will be going up on YouTube very soon. Within the, well, today the first video should be go, should, video should be going up there. Um, it, uh, we ha all have 12 Pokemon, I'm really excited to start it, oh my god. It, it took so long to get that draft done. It's so stupid. But whatever, we're almost done now, and I'm really excited to start playing that. The link to the YouTube channel of the ISC is in the description. My team analysis, as team analysis, as well as all my matches will be going up on my channel. Everything else will be going up on the ISC channel as well. Of course, my own videos will also be going up there, and that is pretty much it. Uh, for yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. I think I've said everything that I need to say. Any questions you have, just post them in the comments. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. That's been it for me for now. I'm, I'll am i see you guys all very soon. Because I'm going to be doing my team analysis today. So I'll be seeing you guys there. I'm out. Peace.